Hey everybody, Brad Greenfield here again for the third part of our three-part series and adding a survey to our SharePoint site. So I'm operating within the UT Extension Central Region Office website today and we're going to wrap this up. If you remember what we've done so far, so we went to Google Docs, we created the survey. Then we saved the little bit of code that we got from that survey into this uh, notepad that we then saved onto our desktop. Then we came in, we've created a folder or a documents library in SharePoint, uploaded that text file, then we copied that link from that text file onto a sticky note, and you could do this anywhere, I just, a sticky note makes sense to copy that. We're going to use this in just a little bit. And now all we have left to do is to create the page to house this survey. So what I'm going to do is go into Site Actions, and I am going to select on New Page. And the new page title is going to be Test Survey. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this test so I know what it is. So I create it. And here we are. A simple page layout. Uh, nothing really fancy. Um, so what I want to do is go into Insert and Web Part. And over here I'm going to select Content Editor Web Part. Or, or Media and Content, sorry and then content editor web part and I'm going to select add and since I was here in the page content uh, it added it right here so what I'm going to do now is just select this drop down and I'm going to edit web part and then we get this file over here content link link to a text file we can either type in the URL or if you'll remember with our sticky note We've got that URL right here, so I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it right in there, and I am going to click Apply. And there is our survey. Now I'm going to obviously click in here to change the title uh, over here in editing our web part. And I'm going to change this to Title. Now, if you'll remember that before, several times I mentioned that this file was too big uh, or that we were going to be adjusting. You see that it hangs off the screen there just a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to go down here to Width and I'm going to select Yes, that it should have a fixed width. And I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, but I or what it should be, but I do know that we've got a lot of empty space here. Now, if I pull up the text file, we can see if we scroll over here that the width was 760. And we're hanging over, I don't know, I'm just going to guess that we are hanging over right here probably about 50 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the width here. I'm just going to type in 700 just to kind of see what happens when I select apply. Alright, and I've selected apply and now we've got a little scroll bar here that will allow us to go over. Now what that did was that actually just set this window in here. It didn't really change the um, the look of the survey. Now if I was to put, let's say I put only 300 in there, I'll show you what happens. If I th put 300 pixels in there, select apply, then the web part actually becomes a lot more narrow. So the actual survey doesn't change, just the web part housing it. So I put in 700 and I was pretty happy with what we got there. So I'm going to go back to 700 and click apply. And we've got this little scroll bar here. Now, what you could do is we could go ahead, if we were done editing this page, we could do whatever we want to, change however we want to. If we're done editing this page, then what we could do is open up our text file again, go into that width, and just simply change that to 700. File, save. Okay, so now that file is changed to 700. We're already calling to the URL here, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on Publish This Page. I'm happy with it. I want to get rid of that scroll bar, though. So I'm going to click on Publish This Page, uh, Continue, 
and we see here that it looks good we've got that scroll bar and I really don't like that that bothers me so what I want to do is just go back into site site actions view all site content I'm gonna go into our documents into that test and I am actually going to upload that same document again it's gonna overwrite the one that already exists on there select OK okay so now that's new it's uh, it over uh, it, it's gonna overwrite the one that was on there with the new width so now when I go in here to the test survey which by default when we create a new page it shows up on the menu we're gonna hide that in just a second when I go here to the test we notice that the scroll bar is gone and this survey is done really neatly. Uh, it's very clean, very easy to navigate, easy to understand what needs to be done. And the greatest thing is, if I just take this survey real quick, I like to call in sick on sunny days. How about that? We'll keep that away from Mr. Stewart. I'll be doing pretty good. So if I click Submit, it submits it, it lets us know that it's submitted, and we've never left the UT extension page. Okay, so now we see it in the, in the menu. There may be a situation where we want that to be in the menu, where we want people to be able to find that. If not, what we want to do, so we make sure we can find this easily again, let's just move our notepad down here, and I'm going to click Enter, and I'm going to type in Link to Finished Survey, and I am going to just highlight this, copy pull my sticky note back up here and I'm gonna paste so there's there's our link to our finished survey so we can kinda of put that to the side now if we want to get it off this menu I'm gonna go into site actions and I'm going into site settings and I'm gonna click on navigation okay so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click on test survey I'm gonna scroll back up a little bit select hide so there it's marked as being hidden I'm gonna select OK and when our browser pulls up, test survey is gone. But it's always there because I've got the link to it. So I can send this out in an email. I can put it in a letter or in a newsletter, however we want to do it. Um, you know, there's several options that you can do with this. Um, and what I want to do now is just show you what a survey, what kind of information you get back in your survey result. All right, what you're seeing right now is just an example of the survey results. Um, as you all know, I enjoy the sport of hockey. I like to play. I've got a buddy that runs a hockey camp, and he recently did a survey on Google Docs. And this, this is the uh, results page. So we know how many responses we have. We see the answers to the questions that he had on there. Um, even had a mis miscellaneous topic where people could type in different items that they wanted to learn about. Uh, so we see that broken down into a pie chart. And then down here we see a graph showing us uh, the number of responses per day. So uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty thorough uh, results that we could get from this free service. So I just wanted to share what the results page would look like. If you have any questions on any of this, uh, if you get stuck somewhere as you're trying to create your own documents, you'll see my information show up on the screen now. Uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I uh, hope you found this uh, informative and are able to utilize it in your programs. Thank you.